Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be focusing on a very crucial topic in the subject area, one that has caused many persons a lot of heartache and loss of marks because they don't know how to do it properly. Today we're going to focus on the topic line spacing. So stay with me and let me take you through how this topic is done. Now line spacing referred refers to the width between lines of a text. There are various types of line spacing. However, the three main types of line spacing used in EDPM are single space, denoted by SS or SLS, double space, DS, meaning double space, or DLS, double line spacing, triple space, TS or TLS. Now the assumption of most persons is that when they hear the term single space, single meaning one, it means one space between line of text, double space means two spaces between lines of text, and triple space means three spaces between lines of text. But guys, that could never be further from the truth. Because the real thing behind this is that a single space means that there is no space between lines of text. A double space means that there is one space between lines of text. And a triple space means that there are two spaces between lines of text. Now, what are some of the ways to ensure correct line spacing? I have written down something here that I have, have practiced. And from my practice and delivered to my students, I came up with this notion. Firstly, once you open Microsoft Word, it will automatically be on the style normal. However, if you start typing right away, the spacing on your document will be incorrect, as the default setting for normal is multiple 1.5 and 10-point spacing after lines of text. To correct this, we need to go to paragraphs and set the line spacing to single and remove the 10-point spacing after lines, lines of text by setting it to zero point. Or a simpler way of doing it, which is a way that I use, is that when you open Microsoft Word, select no spacing, right? Once you select no spacing on the styles on the ribbon, it will automatically set the correct spacing that you need to start your typing. So you do not have to worry about going to paragraphs and setting anything. You can just start your typing right away. And another thing that I use is a icon on the ribbon known as a show hide, right? The show hide helps to guide when you're typing by showing your line spacing, all right? But I'll show you that in a few minutes. Let's go over to Microsoft Word and let me show you the differences with these line spacing. All right, everyone, so here we are in Microsoft Word. So I just opened Microsoft Word and there you have it. It is on normal. Let's see how this looks with our typing. All right, so I just typed my first two sentences, and when, when I pressed the Enter key, it brought me to this line. If you realize that there's a big space here, that one more line of text can be placed. All right, so I just said to you that a single space is no space between lines of text, and here we have a big space. All right, so this is indeed a double space and not a single space. Let us continue. All right, so with a double space, I'm supposed to enter once, enter twice. The first time will give me the space, and the second time I start typing the next sentence. All 
right? So as you can see, I have a big gap here. One, two. So two of my cursors can hold between this. And I said to you earlier that a double space is one line, one space between lines of text. And I have two here. All right, so this is a triple space and not a double space. And bear in mind, I just opened Microsoft Word and started typing on normal. Let me enter again and do the other one. And then with a triple space, I'm supposed to enter one, two times because it's two lines of text between um, two spaces between lines of text. And then the third time, I should start typing my next row. And already you can see that this does not make sense for any document at all to be this spacious. All right. So triple space is two lines. I'm supposed to have two rows of text now going through. And this is, I don't even have to count it. This is a big old gap. All right. So this is incorrect. I said to you that to correct this, when we open Microsoft Word, it will be a normal and then we need to go to paragraphs to set what we need to set. So let me do that now. So I'm going to highlight the single space here and I'm going to go to paragraphs and I'm going to see I said that the line space would have been multiple 1.5 and that's what it is exactly. I'm going to change that to single space and I said that the spacing after would have been 10 points and I needed to change that to zero. Once I do that and press OK, there you have it. That is single space. I do the same thing for the double space and I'm doing them one by one so that you can see the difference as I do it. So this I need to change to zero and line spacing to single. Press OK. There you have it. One cursor there so one more line of text can be there that is a double space and then this triple space or the so-called triple space let me fix it all right but you do not have to do this if you open all right so that is a triple space all right now i have to do this because i opened microsoft Word and i started typing before but what would have happened if it is that I just open Microsoft Word and set everything right away? So I open Microsoft Word, it is a normal, then I go to paragraph and I make the adjustments before I start my typing. So I just open a new document and I'm doing this before I start my typing. All right, so let me see now. So I'm going to say this is a single space. And I'm going to press enter. There you have it. All right, let me try that with a double space. And then I enter once for the space, another time for the text. But I could have typed it in single space and then the control, the shortcut key is control plus two to get double line spacing. All right. So I'm going to try. So that is a double space. I'm going to try this is a triple space. And that now is two lines of text. So I'm going to enter three times one, two for the space in the third time to start typing the information. All right, and there you have it. How do I know that these two are correct? I spoke about something known as, known as a show hide. Here it is. All right, the show hide shows us. I use it as a guide for my spacing. So this is where I have the triple space, and there you have it. Two show highs being displayed. All right, no space above it or below it. Just perfect. All right, so two show highs being close together. So that is a triple space. And this is where I have a double space. All right. So I have one show height between the lines of text, no space above or below it. And then a single space would not carry any show height at all. And then I take it off. 
All right, and that is it. Let us use it to see the show heights. All right, let me open another document and show you. And I'm taking my time to show this to you because many persons always get this incorrect. All right, so I'm just going through it step by step so that you can see the difference. This is not a single space. Yes. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to do that for the And I want to, you to see the show highs, my main thing for doing this. Uh, so with the double space, it is one space for the second one to start with that. And I don't, I will not do the triple space. I'm just going to put on the show height and show you. So here, and this is where students get it wrong many a times. Because I would have said to them that the show height um, is is one show height between lines of text. And they would have typed it on normal without setting the, the um, address in the paragraphs, right? And they would have typed it on normal and see one show height means that it's correct. No, it's not. Because if you realize that this show height has a space above it, and below it all right and that should not be there should be no space um, above or below your show height when you're doing a double space and if you're doing a triple space it should be two show heights all right so it should not be the spacious so look out for that please just pick on your show height as a guide now the final thing is I said to you that what I do and I say to my students once you open Microsoft Word select this at stars select no spacing all right i often tell them we type on times new roman font size 12. so the default as you open microsoft word select no spacing and then you go to times new roman font size 12 and you start your typing here we go enter and i don't have to worry about anything because the spacing is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two. And that's it. Show height. There you go. Triple space, two show heights, no spacing. Double space, one show height between, no space above or below. And single space, no space at all. Alright. So guys, I do hope you enjoy this video. As I said, it's a critical topic for the subject area. Take some time, go through it. Watch it as many times as you want to, to ensure that you get the concept. All right, so please, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please share it with your other classmates and friends, family members, everybody. Please share it. And finally, please subscribe to the channel. Help me to get my information out there to others as I seek each week to make EDPM simple. Thanks for watching.